Hi, I'm Stephen Foskett with Foskett's.net and Tech Field Day. I'm going to be talking to a number of people about Storage Developer Conference. I'm Stephen Donovan, Software Development Engineer at Isilon Storage Division, part of the EMC. And I work on both SMB protocol as well as authentication and access control systems. There's really three portions of SDC. Uh, there is the, the talks, which is the main draw um, I think people think about first. Uh, then there's the plug fest, um, where lots of different uh, SMB implementers get together, test their clients and servers against each other. And then the, the third portion, which of course isn't really mentioned on the website, is just the, the socializing aspect. For storage developers, basically everyone in the world who does your same job at every other company is attending SDC. And, and that's probably the most beneficial part in my mind, is that you get to talk, um, the, the competitive barriers uh, fall down, and you get to talk as engineers to um, other people who have the same problems, who, who have run into, you know, are developing the same kind of systems, and you can, you can really geek out, you can really um, learn a lot from other people's implementations, and, uh, and then go take that knowledge back to your own work and, and do a better job. Yeah, my name is David Cruzy. I'm the principal lead software uh, developer at Microsoft and I own the SMB stack. And so tell me a little bit more, um, so you've been to SDC before. Yes. Um, what's it like? What kind, what, how would it compare to other conferences or what is it like uh, to be there? I mean, the thing I like for uh, SDC as a conference coming as an engineer is that it's definitely much more technical, and the people I interact with are, are developers like I am, and especially ones that work in the same field, which is, is sort of specialized if I go to larger conferences like WinHack. Uh, I can wander around for a long time and not run into anyone who I'm overly interested in talking to or, or listening to, whereas as with this, uh, most of the developers I run into either own technologies that are related or have questions for me or I have questions for them. So. So it's, it's really a, a very focused conference then, very focused on storage, storage protocols. Um, yeah, very much so. And, and the tracks are pretty focused, and, and the general issue I have is, is more deciding what talks I can make because mm -hmm. there's enough competing that are, are relevant to what I do versus trying to find the ones that are storage focused. So you, you were talking about that there's a lot of people there, a lot of different companies there. Um, what kind of companies go, and, and what are they looking for from it? From it? Um, there's a pretty wide variety. I mean, you have a lot of the OS vendors who mm -hmm. are, are looking to either implement their, their client or their server stack, and some of them already have SMB support and are looking to add SMB2. Some of them are just you know implementing right to the latest and greatest. Mm -hmm. um, you also have people who sit on the wire to do network inspection or WAN acceleration and, and want to know how they can optimize and integrate with sort of what we're doing moving forward. And then you also have like solution vendors who are trying to build on top of those platforms who want to see how they can either change their... Their, their products or their development plans to either better support or in some cases, you know, enable support for SMB remote file storage. At a conference like this, where there are basically lots of people like you and me, yeah. um, I'm sure that a lot of the stuff happens outside the sessions as well. So you're not just uh, sitting passively watching a speaker. You're, uh, you know, talking to them personally. You're talking to the others in the audience. And, and there's a lot of uh, you know, birds of a feather sessions and after hours things that happen, and, uh, and probably a lot of conversation takes place there too. Oh yeah, definitely. And and as a speaker, it's nice because um, you have a lot of access to people where you might give a talk on one day, and then across the next two or three days, as you're interacting, people will come up to you with questions as I've thought mm -hmm. about it, or as people are available. Um, and there's lots of time to go out and sit around a beer outside later in the evening and just sort of hang out and. And, and you get free access to a lot of developers across a variety of companies that normally you just wouldn't get a chance to yeah. interact with. So, so uh, my name is uh, Jose Barreto. I'm a principal program manager with Microsoft, and I've been here for about 10 years. And in the last three, I've been uh, focused on the file protocol that we use the most here, which is SMB 3.0. No. So this is not an SMB event. It's not a Microsoft event. This is an industry event with mm -hmm. uh, people from all over the industry on both sides of the wire, as it were, mm -hmm. um, you know, what's what happens there? I mean, what's it like? Well, there, there's a number of different groups that come together there. And, of course, 
uh, us coming from Microsoft, we're eager to talk about our progress, but we're also looking forward to seeing how other people are implementing, uh, for instance, the SMB protocol or, or other file protocols like NFS. We have a, a, an NFS stack. We have our iSCSI stack as well. And there's a lot of crossover there too. So, you know, to have Microsoft and a storage array company and another operating system and, you know, portable devices and flash memory and cloud and have all of you talking about what's coming next. Yeah. That gives a very different answer than if it was just Microsoft talking about what's coming next. Yeah. And it, you guys might get some great ideas. Yeah, absolutely. We, we go into that room and we see just a, a flurry of different OSs, different implementations, different kinds of machines, different kind of hardware as well. People bring in and say, okay, so let's put this all together. Let's uh, experiment with end-to-end uh, -end scenarios. And one of the things that I find interesting is that we bring in some application workloads also. And, and we try, uh, how about my application workload with your protocol stack and vice versa? Mm -hmm. And then there are the breakout sessions where you essentially have to choose out of you know a number of different concurrent sessions or where you go to. I myself, I try to always go to the ones that I'm the least familiar with that's when the brain gets you yeah. know, rebooted and we look at this, oh, interesting that it's happening. So it, it's kind of a way to look outward, to, to kind of try to understand where others are going. Because we, we get so close into our environment, sometimes we forget about what the industry is doing. Absolutely. But there's no better place to do that. Yeah, and, and, and I love the idea that you try, you seek out things that are new and different. Because too few people do. And... You know, I love the idea that there's going to be some, you know, interesting off-hours conversations and evening conversations. Yeah, and things like I, I, I'm, I'm really a, a more of a morning person, so I, I love the breakfast table. So okay. you get there, some folks are there early, some come from a different time zone, and, and we just sit there and we start getting our coffee, you start discussing, and... And honestly, at that point, you don't know who's on the other side of the table. You start a conversation. It's sometimes someone that's on a, this interesting new project, and it starts, you know, just igniting your mind, and you say, oh, interesting. I never thought of that. And these kinds of conversations are totally unplanned. It has nothing to do with the agenda. It's sometimes the highlight of the whole thing. Right? That you go there, and you find someone, you start talking, you exchange cards, and something starts. Right? So... It's all about that uh, networking too. Yeah, absolutely. So, so breakfast is kind of like breakfast is the bar without the alcohol. Then, yeah, the, the <laughs> I mean, for me, breakfast is a thing. I've seen some folks that stay yep. the late night, yep. and the plug fest never closes, right? So, I've seen folks just go, you know, burn the midnight oil and 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 just stay there. And, and you know, there are different kind of tribes and different kind mm -hmm. of groups, and they sometimes find each other just by their nocturnal habits and all that. So, it, it's it's an interesting group of people. You know, how how many people come from a large company like EMC or Iceland? This year will be uh, our largest attendance. Um, we're actually bringing 13 people to SDC this year. Actually, that's just from the Isilon storage division. Um, other divisions of EMC are bringing a few people as well. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting because obviously there you've got all the different storage array vendors. You've got all the different operating system vendors. Uh, it, it's going to be pretty cool to see a mix of those people together. Yeah, definitely.